Hello, and welcome to Rambling with Tom. Today I'm going to ramble on a little bit about the summertime and saving the hay. I'll have another talk on the saving the hay later on, but today's ramble will be about making a cock of hay. Now when the hay was cut and it was shook out and on the ground for a few days, it would get dry, there'd be no moisture in it at all. So my father would decide we're going to make cocks of hay today. We might have to do maybe two or three, depending on how much hay we had cut down. So we would all get hay rakes, the rakes, and we would rake a big area of this field and we have one great big pile of hay there to be stacked up. Sometimes we put rushes or tree branches down on the ground first at about a 12 foot, maybe 15 foot circle. Then we would start with the pitchforks and we start building the hay, putting it going around on the branches or the rushes, building it up. And sometimes would have I would get on the uh, cock of hay, we call it tramping the cock. And if you get on there and go rock around and around as the hay is being fed up to you, you get a lot more hay in that cock of hay. And as it went up, they would put the, give the hay up to me, and I would put it around, continually bringing it higher and higher, and also bringing it in narrower until it came to a point just where I would stand up there on it. This would maybe be uh, 10, 10, 15 feet high. And we would rake the side of the cock. And by raking it down, you pull the rake down. It's been like combing your hair. And by raking it down, all the hay, the, uh, the grassy hay section would become a little slope down to it. So that when the rain hit it, it would all roll down. It would not soak into the cock of hay. And around on the base, we would pull out, trim it as here on the bottom, so that the rain as it fell down from the side of the cock of hay, it would fall in the field. There would be no hay there for it to get all wet and possibly rot. Now after the cock is all finished, I would just sit down and slide right down off it. Now my father would sit down and we had what's called a twister. And this little thing we had made with heavy wire you could twist and on one end was a little hook on it so my father would sit down with some of this hay that was left over and put some of the hay over the hook and i would start twisting it and walking backwards it's almost the very same thing as the old spinning wheel and what we'd do is we'd make a rope out of the hay we had this rope maybe 20 foot would, my father would roll it up into a ball. We'd go by the side of the cock and throw this ball over the cock of hay, tie it off on both sides, and go to the other side and throw it off again, make like a cross across the cock of hay, and tie it on both sides again. And that was finished. And it stayed there maybe for three or four weeks, or a few weeks anyway, until we brought the hay in. That's another story. And after that cock was finished, we went on to the next and kept going until we had all of the loose hay that was cut down in cocks of hay. Maybe we made three or four cocks of hay that day. And that was very good for Ireland because we got a lot of rain, so you had to work in between the nice days. Now my next little talk, I'm going to go into a little bit more about the cutting of the hay and the lapping and handshaking, and of course, again, the cocks are covered already. Thanks for listening. And if you want to read a little book, just click on any search engine, 
just the way it was dot com. Some interesting snippets there too. Thanks for listening.